Let's talk about Natty Verified. 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 Grego Gallagher recently started a Natty Verified challenge. Greg isn't looking to bust anyone. He's looking to apply a pressure and make people admit or come clean as a fake natural. From my understanding, this system isn't flawless. In fact, it sounds perfectly beatable. This video is going to cover four main areas. Firstly, what is a fake natural? Secondly, the breakdown of the testing. Thirdly, the flaws of this testing. And finally, my opinion on this whole idea. Fake naturals are fitness influencers who claim to be natural when they're in fact using chemical compounds to alter their physique. The testing system is essentially a two-pronged approach relying the athlete to be in peak physical condition. They will then be asked to do a DEXA scan and provide blood work. You then repeat this process three times over a three-month period. In this peak condition, they're expected to at least maintain their body fat and muscle mass levels. A fitness YouTuber whose opinion I highly respect, Omar Isof, did a video recently pointing out some of the flaws in this testing method. Omar particularly stressed the fact that this system could benefit the fake naturals. Omar, without saying this directly, broke it down into three categories of lifters. People we highly suspect are natural, people who are obviously on gear but refuse to admit it, and finally, those people somewhere in the middle where they're either extremely genetically gifted or are in fact taking some form of PIDs. For example, Simeon Panda is obviously on some form of gear. However, athletes like David Laid, who are most likely on something, do still have the, the small chance that they are natural lifters. Although he doesn't directly name these two, I do think that they are good standards for the point he's trying to make. Omar essentially explains that the people in this gray area are often on a low dose or on and off performance enhancing drugs. Therefore, it's a lot harder to pin them as drug users with this testing method, not to mention the drugs that aren't even tested for using this method. To summarize, he says that the risk to reward ratio is too high and that doing this test could in fact give these athletes even more ground to stand upon as a natural even though they just managed to fluke through a flawed testing method. So what do I personally think of this movement? Since it's caused so much debate, I have a lot of opinions, especially in response to particular people. Firstly, I do agree with the general idea of this testing system. And although I do share some of Omar's concerns into the reliability of this testing, I still think it would be interesting to see these results. The most important takeaway for me is that we don't take these results as the final answer. The main issue stems from looking at these enhanced athletes and thinking that you will get the results they get just because you use a program or a supplement that they take. It's a false hope at the end of the day. The main issue doesn't stem from them taking drugs, it stems from them being dishonest about what they do take. However, this is a two-way street. Scott Herman, a fitness YouTuber who is quite big in the community, put out a video which although conveyed some good points. I think kind of shared the wrong message. He stressed the idea that these athletes don't know what it's like training as a natural and therefore discrediting their programs and their supplement. I think it's a huge mistake discrediting someone's knowledge just because they take performance enhancing drugs. Transparency is the main thing that's needed in this industry and there's a huge societal pressure that stops this from happening. Steve Cook made a response to the Natty Verified Challenge which I think in some ways aligns with the views I share the most. People need to spend less time looking at the shape of their body and more looking at being the healthiest version of themselves. All that being said, I still do think it would be interesting to see these results. It would help us gauge who the most genetically gifted of our favorite YouTubers or fitness influencers are, as well as potentially weaning out a few of the fake naturals who fail to find a way to pass this challenge. And at the end of the day, although this isn't the answer to purifying the industry, it's definitely started a conversation. Perfect timing, my light just ran out of battery. Um, if you did enjoy the video, please make sure to leave a like, a comment, um, your opinion, I do wanna hear it. Just because I've referenced people in this video doesn't mean I necessarily agree with them or think that they are natural. These are just merely my takeaways from different people's conversations. Except for you, Simeon Panda, you're clearly on gear, bro. Fuck. I take babies.